From the previous videos, we have our ship. It's moving across the screen. We have a very basic entity and component system, and that's feeling good design-wise. However, I recall being able to control this ship using the arrow keys in our original version, so that's where I want to head to next. If I pull open the Solution Explorer here and open our old game, I believe we used get async key state. We did. And this is a little dirty. Rotate ship. It directly pulls a Windows function, so now we're bound to Windows. If I wanted to update this, I'd have to go around and replace all these get async states. And then right here, I'm checking input, and I'm doing something with that input. And then right uh, here, right here, I'm checking input and doing something else with the input. And it's not too bad, but it's not very flexible. And so in the midst of our refactoring, I want to do something slightly more flexible. Let me draw the magic line here. In fact, I'll shorten this up just a little bit. And let's get our text tool. And we'll say game up here. And engine down here. And if you've been following along with all the videos on this playlist, you know that I try to push reusable code down into the engine. If I feel the code could be used in several games, then it's definitely an engine type of thing. But if it's game specific, it's going to go up into the game. That's why we... In our Solution Explorer, we have this engine project, and we have the game project, and and so on and so forth. So with input, the game and the engine actually have to work together quite closely. And the problem with input, let's go, I'll go green here. The problem with input is that we have to map keys to actions. And the game determines those keys and actions. But the fact that we need to go to the operating system and figure out which key is down and that sort of thing, that, that's actually something the engine could do and we want the engine to do. We just have to let the engine do its job. So in our case with our game, the keys and the actions we want, well, if the user holds down the up arrow, then the action we want is accelerate. And if they hold down the left arrow... Then we want to rotate left. Pretend that's a capital R. Rotate left. And if they hold down the right arrow, then we want to rotate right. And then maybe if they hit the space bar, we want to shoot and that sort of thing. This mapping, I should be able to change it anytime I want to. If I decide up, left, and right aren't good, I want to use WASD keys instead, WASDA as we call it then I should be able to change it in one spot and the rest of the game work quite nicely. That's the goal we're going for with the engine. The engine, all right, we're going to make a input system. I'll just say input right here. Ooh, let's do it bigger though. Bigger input. I want this input system its only job should be to worry about, hey, what keys are you interested in? I'll go figure out if those keys are down, and then I'll tell you what actions you should perform. So then at that point, yeah, something in the game needs to know that up maps accelerate and left to rotate left, right to rotate right. But after that, all we wor we're worried about is, hey, accelerate. Hey, rotate left. Hey, rotate right. Accelerate and rotate left. That sort of thing. We can kind of forget about which buttons they need to push. We're just worried about the actions. And so using an input system inside the engine, we can abstract away and allow the engine to deal with the mundane headache for us. One last thing the engine will also worry about is the get async key state call. I don't want to be bound to Windows. If I want to migrate to a different platform that doesn't have the get async key state call, and so I have to write some more code for that platform. I want to change it just in one spot. It should be in the engine, and the game should be blissfully unaware that we had to do that. So that's the goal here. We need to write an input system. We need to have some way that the input system from the engine and the game can work together, and that's what we're going to move on to doing in the next few videos.